So you have your Sega Genesis complete with The Revenge of Shinobi. You think that your life is complete, but it's not. You're still missing something because there's that possibility someday that somebody will come up to you and say, let's play Shinobi, the first one, for the Sega Master System. Then what are you going to do? It won't play in the Sega Genesis. The Sega Master System is a completely different game system that came out several years before the Sega Genesis. So basically you're screwed, but you're not. There's a way out of this situation without having to buy a Sega Master System. Check this out. You remove the Revenge of Shinobi and instead insert the Sega Genesis Power Base Converter which fits snugly into your Sega Genesis, as you can see. And this allows you to play Sega Master System games on your beloved Sega Genesis. It has a little door up here. You open that, it's inviting you to insert a Sega Master System cartridge. We'll open up Shinobi. Game cartridges look a little different than the Sega Genesis games. And you insert that snugly into the top of the power base converter and you're ready to play Sega Master System games on the Sega Genesis. Let's take a closer look here at the power base converter, one of my favorite add-ons for the Sega Genesis. And look, they've even left you a little cutout where the power light can shine through, letting you know how badass your Sega Genesis is. This is the cartridge slot. You open up that little, little handy door there and insert your game cartridges. It's a tight fit, so you gotta really force them down in there, but it does work well, and it's even got a card input. I'll get into that in a second. And there's the pause button on the game console itself. Now the back side of this unit looks like this, which uh, may not be what you're expecting. It's got a nice uh, burgundy finish to it. This is the exact same shape as a Sega Genesis game and that's how it actually fits into the top of the Sega Genesis. The power base converter is really easy to use and does not require any additional AC adapters or power cords or anything. All you do is simply set it on top of your Sega Genesis, gently lock it into place, and it looks great. This is a really nice looking unit. You open up your cartridge slot, Take whatever Sega Master System game you'd like to play. We can play uh, Hang On and Astro Warrior, two great games. Put that in there, and you're, you're ready to play. As I said before, when you turn on the power, they left you a little cutout there so you can see that your Sega Genesis is powered up, even when you're playing Sega Master System games. Now there's a few Sega Master System games that for whatever reason came out on cards. Uh, Sega cards. This is a close-up look of the Sega card for F-16 Fighting Falcon. And if I remove my fingers, there's graphics of fingers there showing you how small this thing is. Pretty neat, huh? Let's open that up. Give you a little carrying sleeve for this thing. This is the most bizarre, bizarre thing. F-16 Fighting Falcon game card. Well, let's try that out. It's like you're going to an ATM. Insert card, and out comes fun. And turn on your Genesis, and you're ready to go. F-16 Fighting Falcon on Sega card. They had the most creative ideas. You can play these Sega Master System games using the Sega Genesis controller with the uh, power base converter on your Sega Genesis. Or if you want to be a purist, you can also use the Sega Master System controller, which has the exact same kind of plug that the Sega Genesis controller has. And if you play games with the Genesis controller, it just uses two buttons, and the Sega Master System controller only has two buttons many options. You can also use the six button fighting controller that I showed in a different review. 
The Sega Master System was released in 1986 in the United States shortly after the Nintendo Entertainment System. And sadly, it never really caught on, even though it had some awesome games like Hang On and Astro Warrior. Nintendo simply dominated the market. Now, the Sega Master System games today remain a lot of fun. In many ways, the Master System was technically superior to the NES. And if you like other Sega consoles like the Genesis and the Dreamcast and the Saturn, you'll love the Sega Master System. And the Power Base Converter is an excellent way to have one console that plays both both games. Choplifter, the Sega Master System version of Choplifter is really cool. We'll take a look at that in a different classic game room review. And of course my favorite, Shinobi. The original Shinobi from Sega is every bit as good as Revenge of Shinobi by the way. And check that out, somebody's throwing throwing stars at the back of his head and he's not even flinching. Now they changed them around a bit here for Revenge of Shinobi. Looks a lot angrier. And they did away with this wetsuit looking ninja outfit and actually gave them something that looks cool. There you have the power base converter, the Sega Genesis. There's nothing else I can say. This is simply perfection. Cheers to you, Sega, and start making video game consoles again. Goddamn right. And cheers to you, Power Base Converter. You know, nothing compliments Astro Warrior like a good Hefeweizen. There's just something about that refreshing taste that goes well with space combat.